Today is going to be a great day. I am Nikki G, your host. Welcome to The Lone Doctrine, the food for thought exploration station and your place in making today better than yesterday. Every month here at The Lone Doctrine, we pick a topic a topic to explore in order to not only understand the human condition a bit better, but more importantly, to understand ourselves better. This month, it's just that, understanding. How can we be more understanding? Let me ask you a question. When you're explaining something to someone or having a discussion, do you want the other person or people involved to understand you? Now, we're not just talking about speaking the same language. I mean the deeper part of understanding, whether it's instructions you're giving, advice, or telling your stories or plight. It's nice to know the other person is listening and doing their best to understand, right? Well, that's easy to say. Of course, we want people to understand us. But why is it challenging to really understand others? The lack of understanding is no lack at all. There's so much in the world that's misunderstood, misinformed, or just a lack of willingness to learn, grow, and really understand. To start, let's take this week to be more proactive in our approach to becoming more understanding. Here's some food for thought I'd like you to try to put into action. Let me share some points of view from Huffington Post. Do you want to be understood, your feelings, circumstances, and point of view, for example? Do you make an effort to understand other people, even your closest friends? Most people, while wanting to be understood, do not simply have the time or energy to listen closely, really empathize, and attempt to understand one another. Yet, innately, we each desire to truly feel understood. Here are some tips to create more understanding in your life, especially for those that you care about. Assume the least about the other person, reserving your judgment as much as possible while showing genuine empathy. Our days are happier when we give people a piece of our heart rather than a piece of our mind. This quote summarizes how empathy and understanding can bring satisfaction to us while providing comfort to others. This cycle of satisfaction and comfort can also prevent and solve many problems in our social lives. Appreciating our differences in opinion, meanwhile, is a building block to understanding one another. And let's try to listen to understand rather than listening to reply. The biggest communication problem is that we do not listen to understand. We listen to reply. It is okay if we fail to understand, but have the courage to reply. I don't know how to reply to that. That sounds tough. It's better to face the truth instead of replying without showing any understanding. Consider friends and family. We might not have an answer for why someone could be feeling frustrated, angry, or upset. The wisest thing to do is to try and just listen and be a vessel of comfort. How about consider learning to understand others as a strength, not a weakness? Perhaps some might consider showing understanding or empathy as a weakness. Question this. Think about how many quality friendships you might gain or lives you might uplift by becoming more understanding. Remember, you get back what you ask for. You get in life what you have the courage to ask for. The fact of the matter is our journeys take effort. You might be searching to be understood or you want to be more understanding towards a loved one. Whatever it is, be courageous enough to look for it and return might be closer than you think. While each of us are a work in progress, becoming more understanding will certainly give us more comfort and support in our lives while strengthening our close bonds. Try to put these things into action. Try to see what might resonate with you, what might light that light bulb up, 
And remember, being understanding is also understanding yourself better and giving understanding to yourself. There's an abundance of benefits to all parties involved when we try our best to understand. If we had even just a little less harsh judgment in the world, the world would be a much better place. Just imagine how different social media would be. Change begins with us, with you, because I'll quote this, any fool can criticize, condemn, and complain, but it takes character and self-control to be understanding and forgiving. Thank you for tuning in with us today. We appreciate you. If you found value in this episode, we would love for you to share it with a friend, family member, or someone you might feel needs a little extra support. Or if we could have a few seconds of your time, we'd love to hear your thoughts. You can leave us a review on Apple Podcasts, which in turn helps us show up in the search engines so others in need can find us. We hope to hear from you. And until next time, keep fighting the good fight. It's a great day.